It is the 26th of the 8th, 2011. This is today's climate change update. Blistering heat wave continues over the Balkans. People collapsing on the street, roads melting. This is out of Belgrade. Officials in the Balkans are trying to cope with near record heat wave as temperatures soar across much of Eastern Europe. Wildfires ranging and the people fight, fainting on the streets. Uh, authorities in Serbia, Montenegro, Croatia, Macedonia, Bosnia, and Albania issued heat warnings today for people to stay indoors and drink water to avoid hyperthermia. And they're talking temperatures uh, 45 degrees Celsius, which is like 113 degrees Fahrenheit uh, throughout southern Europe. Heat wave exacting tolls on the elderly in Milan, Italy. Ten deaths reported, and again the heat wave continues. Excuse me, Hurricane Irene may be the worst storm system to hit the Northeast in 50 years. Uh, they're gearing Irene up to be a monster, and even <laughs> Mayor Bloomberg of New York is preparing for a state of emergency, and everybody, you know, watch out, look at this, look at this, here comes Irene. Discovery News 2010, San Andreas Lake Fault found in northern United States. Basically, they saying that they found an active fault line that runs up the Appalachian Fukushima nuclear disaster radiation release equal to 168 Hiroshima bombs. Tokyo, Japan's government estimates the amount of radioactive cesium-137 released by the Fukushima nuclear disaster so far is equal to that of 168 Hiroshima bombs. Now Arnie Gunderson put out a video back on the 21st, just eye-opening and, you know... Arnie knows more than I ever will. This is beyond madness. And torrential rains and flash floods kill 16 more in Pakistan. Uh, their torrential rains and monsoon uh, madness is ongoing again this year. And that is over there. Over to the RSOE. <coughs> State of Louisiana, deep water horizon rig in the Gulf of Mexico uh, is leaking. Uh, apparently, some reporters went out on a clear day and uh, took pictures and videos of this oil actually bub bubbling up out of the water in that area, uh, right where they said that, that they'd have permanently patched um, the oil. Well, that was... Uh, leaking last year, or ruptured, actually. Um, the officials say that uh, they can't find anything because of the weather's not perfect and pristine, and as soon as the next clear day goes out, they're going to send something out with a, with a little robot to chase down to see where this leak is. So they're not 100% confirming that the plug has failed, and the leak is starting to continue again, or if this is just ongoing leakage out of all the pipework and the sunken rig that's already down there. So, uh, time will tell on that. Definitely something to pay attention to if we don't have enough to pay attention to already. Forest fires out of Oregon. The Wallamette National Forest. Uh... What was that again on Nigeria? An unusual um, geological event. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They had a they have a large uranium um, mining area in a mountain in Nigeria, and uh, they reported explosions and smoke, and they thought it was volcanic or earthquake orientated but they're actually sending people out there to investigate what's going on in this uranium uh, mining area probably one of the biggest ones second biggest one in the world or something and um, <clears throat> so if this is volcanic in nature they are truly in trouble there uh, flooding in Guatemala and of course the heat wave in Eastern Europe Bosnia and Herzegovina Macedonia Montenegro 
Forest fires in Arizona, uh, Salt Lake County area, lightning induced. Uh, they say that's pretty much almost under control now. Uh, also got forest fires going off in Eastern Europe. Um, Mont Montenegro, due to the heat and, and drought. Uh, fires in New Zealand and Northland and Ratura. Flooding in Pakistan, of course. Uh, we got a drought in France. Two-thirds of the this, this nation of France is still under severe drought, uh, despite some of the rain that they've had lately. And uh, everybody's under water rations and that kind of thing. And you got to understand that that uh, France, like 70 plus percent of their nuclear of their power is produced by nuclear power plants, which need uh, extreme amounts of water to be able to function properly. Uh, which compounds their already drastic problems. And of course, flash flooding in the Dominican Republic and the Caribbean as uh, Irene rolls up the Atlantic coast. Um, and finally, El Hero, H I E R R O, earthquake count exceeds 4,200 in the past five weeks. Now, the number of daily earthquakes recorded in the smallest of the Canary Islands uh, has increased considerably in the recent days. And uh, there's a big volcano there, and if you see the map, you can see where, the, where part of the island slid down before, and uh, this ongoing situation. The Canary Islands are, are where the National Geographic said there was a, a huge East Coast tsunami risk um, that goes along with these volcanoes in a... In a, in a very active area right now. Um, that is about all I have for you tonight, climate change wise. Um, if I missed anything, please let me know, of course, attach your videos or your comments below. Enjoy what you can, and thanks for all your help.